Hey everyone and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week. This one includes seven days and starts off on Saturday. So I just had some maple brown sugar whole foods oatmeal because I didn't feel like going to the dining hall this morning. And then a little bit later I had a rice cake with PB2, banana, and honey on top because the oatmeal wasn't enough and I wanted a little bit more. For lunch on Saturday, I had some delicious sweet potatoes. So part of my sweet potatoes were covered with vanilla yogurt and fresh raspberries and blueberries. And then I also had some with peanut butter and banana. And then I'm just showing you, I have a big bowl and a smaller bowl of black bean, Cuban black bean stew. And I put some in a Rubbermaid to have later in the week. So I just had... A combination of some from the little bowl and some more from the big bowl and here is everything that I finished so that's how much I had left over after taking some in Rubbermaids eating some etc and then for dinner I just had a salad with peas red bell peppers carrots butter beans chickpeas the usual like everything and then I had a tiny piece of vegan meatloaf as well as some Italian tofu or Italian veggie ball hero which is just the guardian meatballs in red sauce and then I also went back for another sweet potato with peanut butter and banana and then I went back for another sweet potato with peanut butter and banana because I love that combo then for breakfast on Sunday before an early morning spin session, I had a rice cake with peanut butter and banana, and then I had another little piece of, bit of banana. Then I went to a coffee shop after spin, and I had a little bit of a granola bar that I'll show later, and a lavender latte. Then for lunch, I had a salad with all the usual toppings. I'm not going to keep saying them. Um, and then I also had teriyaki tofu on top. And then they had fresh, like, steamed or baked potato, like, little wedges. And I had that with some barbecue and ketchup. Then I wanted to show you that throughout the day, I was snacking on some raspberries. And then I also had a little bit more of the granola bar during the middle of the day. Then for dinner, I have the same combo that you saw already, the yogurt and fresh berries, as well as sweet potato with peanut butter and banana. And then on the side, I had two little chunks of Nature Valley granola. I like that as like a sweet little finisher dessert kind of dealio at the end of my meals. And then when I got back to my dorm, I still wanted more for dessert, so I finished the rest of that Nugo mint chocolate bar. Then on Monday, I had some fresh mixed berries, which was super exciting. So I take a bunch and then I put some in a Rubbermaid for later in the week. And then I had Raisin Bran Crunch cereal with a banana. And then the milk that I use is silk unsweetened almond milk. For lunch, I had a tofu burrito, which you can see has like corn and tofu in it. And then I had a salad with barbecue meatballs, which are just the Guardian meatballs with barbecue sauce on them and corn and black beans with it. And I took a bunch once again to have leftovers and I eat this throughout the week as you will see. And then I also made a mocha-ish drink with chocolate soy milk from silk i believe and then one of those cold brew pods mix it up healthy mocha diy boom so good and then before i had my sorority chapter i had some teriyaki tofu and then while i was at my sorority house i had a protein shake which i'm just showing you here it's salted caramel flavor from ripple and it's super duper tasty then when I got back, it was like 7.30, I think, and I went to the dining hall to have another dinner, like a late dinner, and I had sweet potato with peanut butter and banana. I'm showing you that I dented my hydro flask <laughs> that day, but yeah, so after one sweet potato, I was like, nah, girl, that's not enough, so I had another one. And then the next morning for breakfast, I had oatmeal. This is just my classic chocolate protein oatmeal. So I mix in chocolate protein powder, top it with 
peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter, and banana. And then I had a little bit of salt. For lunch, I had a tofu burrito that I had taken the day before from the dining hall. And then I also topped it with corn, guacamole, salsa, pinto beans, and collard greens. And then I used the second tortilla that I had taken, and I kind of made like a roll-up peanut butter and jelly dealio with some Smucker's strawberry jelly and peanut butter. And then in the middle of the day, I had my delicious and necessary coffee break. So this one is just soy milk, dark chocolate sauce, and caramel sauce. And it was so good, perfectly sweet, and a good way for me to sneak in extra calories throughout the day while still getting my energy boost that I wanted. For dinner that night, I just had like a burrito bowl, taco salad kind of dealio. You can really not see what's in there, but it's just sauteed peppers, pinto beans, black beans, lots of taco-y stuff. And then I also had a sweet potato with peanut butter and banana because a salad is not enough for a meal for me. So yeah, I had that delicious combo as you see so many times in my What I Eat in a Week and then a little apple. The next morning I had cereal once again. So it's the same Raisin Bran Crunch cereal, peanut butter, banana, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, and yeah. For lunch, I just had a salad with carrots, corn, chickpeas, peas, and barbecue meatball leftovers. I kind of feel like this is the last of my barbecue meatballs. And then on the side, I had a tofu burrito with black beans, corn, salsa, guacamole, and some fresh steamed baby carrots, which honestly hit the spot and slapped. <laughs> so yeah. And then for dinner, I had peanut butter, banana, and sweet potato. Literally, I cannot go a day without this combo because it's seriously my favorite. You need to try it. And then for dinner, I just had, or er, dinner, dessert, I had a birthday cake no-cow protein bar. These things are so good and they have legit sprinkles in them. And then I also had a hot cocoa. So I just got almond milk from the dining hall and then that's just the Ghirardelli packet. I just pour it in there mix it up and you've got some delicious hot cocoa which is perfect for when it's cold outside and to round out my night of sweets i had two of the samoa girl scout cookies because my mom sent them to me in a care package and then for breakfast i didn't actually end up eating this but i'll still show you anyways i had this new new bleh, new zest chocolate protein powder that I just got sent some peanut butter and fresh blueberries and then oatmeal but it didn't taste good so I went back and had toast instead and then for lunch well I guess it wasn't the end of my barbecue meatballs maybe it is now I don't know I just had the same salad combo and then I had black beans Mexican quinoa and butternut squash I didn't eat the butternut squash because it literally tasted nasty. Um, and then when I got back to my dorm, I was still hungry. So I had a rice cake with peanut butter and strawberry jelly. And I also finished off this one lonely barbecue meatball so that I could rinse out the Rubbermaid. And I'm also showing you that I tried a little bit of this Freedom Bar as like, I don't know, the rest of my lunch. And then I forgot to film it, but I got an oat milk latte at a coffee shop. And then for dinner, I had a burrito, which was so good. It just has refried beans, pinto beans, corn salsa, tomato, and spinach. And then on the side, I get sauteed peppers and guacamole. Then, big shocker here, I had a sweet potato with peanut butter. And I didn't have a banana this night, so it's just plain old sweet potato and peanut butter. And then I'm pretty sure I go back for a second sweet potato. We shall see. Nope, guess I didn't. Um, and then for dessert, I finished the rest of that Freedom Bar, which was really good. I do like these. They're basically like Lara Bars. And then I also had two more Samoa Girl Scout cookies. The next morning, I had some oats because Live Love Oats. So I'm just showing you that I brought all of the 
normal things, my chocolate protein powder, my chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter, banana, and then they had fresh strawberries at the dining hall, so I also had some of those. And then I went downtown to shop with one of my friends, and I got a grande coconut milk latte with vanilla bean powder. And then after that, I had a super late lunch at like 2 p.m., and I had a side salad with the usual toppings, pinto beans and Thai jungle curry with tofu, which is super good. And then I had a piece of toast with peanut butter and jelly. And then I also had half of that other piece that I showed that I burnt with peanut butter. And that was not enough food. So I took an apple to go on my way to my next class. And then I was knew I was going to have a late, late dinner at like 8 p.m. So I had a rice cake with peanut butter and the first one had fruit, and then the second rice cake had chocolate sea salt probiotic granola from Purely Elizabeth, which is my favorite. And then before my semi-formal, I had some sushi. And to finish off my night, I had a go macro bar at like midnight when I got back from the dance and the party. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in at the end of the video. I know that my backdrop is ugly and I'm in a sweatshirt and the lighting sucks, but I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed my what I eat in a week and got some meal inspiration ideas either for easy quick meals or for some dining hall options because I was eating at the dining hall. I don't think I mentioned um, I go to the University of Georgia love my dining halls. I hope you can see I do not really try new things. Um, as you also see, I eat sweet potato with peanut butter and banana every single day, mostly salads. I switched it up a little bit, um, but I still hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.